locating vascular bundles in a stem. Vascular bundles are strands of conducting tissue extending lengthwise through the stems and roots of plants. The vascular bundle consists of xylem, which conducts water and dissolved mineral substances from the soil to the leaves, and phloem, which conducts dissolved foods, especially sugars, from the leaves to the storage tissues of the stem and root. The xylem and phloem are the conducting tissues of the plant. The xylem and phloem together make up the vascular bundle. In each vascular bundle, the xylem is typically found toward the inside of the stem, while the phloem is found toward the outside. Let's perform an interesting experiment to demonstrate the role and location of phloem in a plant. Select a woody plant and cut a ring of bark from the stem without uprooting it, as shown here. The strip of bark removed has the phloem tissue from the vascular bundles. The xylem is present in the wood and remains intact. Water the plant as usual. After a few days, you will observe a bulge of growth above the ring and no growth below the ring. What is the reason for this change? Here is an interesting experiment which you can do to demonstrate the role and location of xylem in the stem. Mix several drops of red food coloring with water in a glass container. Place celery stalks in the container and leave it for three to four days. The colored water in the celery has risen to the tips of the leaves as transpiration is taking place. If we now cut a section of the celery stick and observe it under the microscope, we will find that the xylem cells in the stem are stained red. If you split up the lower end of the celery stick and place it in two colors, you will see both the colors in the celery sticks. The vascular bundles of monocotyledonous stems are scattered throughout the ground parenchyma of the stem. In herbaceous dicotyledonous stems, the vascular bundles are arranged in the form of a ring. The vascular bundles not only act as conducting tissues for the plant, but also help in growth in thickness.